RSI does such a good job just being able to assimilate us into what maybe the future of scientific research might be like. Um, we have things like College Night, um, we bring in lectures that are world renowned even. And then we also have a bunch of social activities across Boston, across Cambridge. And so it's a really great opportunity to just get out into the world. Um, and not only through the scientific sense, but also we're growing as people. We're getting to know these really, really incredible people too. It's just, it's just so important to have a community out there for, I guess, like other people interested in it so they can bond together and like grow together. RSI is like the prime example of that right you bring so many kids from so many different backgrounds but like the one thing they have in common is that they're all scientists they're all or engineers and they all want to learn something and they all want to grow from the summer the way our lab is set up that David River and I are all working on like different projects but we'll just ask someone else a question about hey what do you think about this or we'll walk behind the other person's computer and say that looks nice maybe you could also add that so I think the collaboration aspect is really cool, like we're all working on individual things, but we're all helping each other on those individual things. One of the most um, phenomenal parts about RSI is that everyone here is incredibly driven in their own field, and that's what allows me to have uh, the most fascinating conversations with people, is that I can talk to them about their field and they're very interested in it. When I actually got here, the international students have to come a day earlier. And so it was really unique to uh, meet everybody, people from like Italy and Israel. And so the first day was almost like, it was like a global fair, like everybody asking what their homes are like. And then uh, once all the domestic students came, it was a lot different, but in a, in a good way. I think from all the guest lectures and the way they give us bios before, the way they let us go have dinner with them and ask them questions, these things don't, or at least for me, they wouldn't normally happen if I wasn't here. And I think I like the fact that they're in all these different subjects as well. So you get exposure to a whole host of things. And these are not things I would have normally been able to do back home in Dallas. So I'm really, I'm really, really grateful. The opportunities have been incredible. I mean, getting to see these world-renowned speakers getting to work with these amazing scientists here and just having the privilege of like spending my summer at MIT and Harvard, it's been amazing. I never dreamed that I would get to do something this cool. I mean, it's very scary kind of at first when you think about it that way, that like these people are putting so much time and effort into me. But then after you sit back and think about it and you realize, you know, they're putting this time and effort in me because they believe I can do something great and then it gives you that confidence maybe you can do that something great.